Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we're going to be going to the down south peg, as this happens to be a sunny day. And sunny days are one of the better days for fishing for the alligator gar. Now, we're going to see if we can't locate a trophy, if that's at all possible. The trophy alligator gar being the biggest fish in this game. So let me go ahead and take a look here at my inventory guys. Now we've got to change a few things up here because this is not going to work. We're going to need shiners. That seems to be one of the best things for these guys. Uh, I'm going to go with either, you know, a lot of people use seven odd hooks. I like six odd. I don't know why. It's just my preference. We're going to go with about 20 to 25 inches. Let's go with let's go with 22, just somewhere in the middle. Let's see, we got everything else okay here. We got to get our, our bobber, and I'm going to use my I'm going to use this one. Might stand out a little bit better. Now everything else is. Pretty much the same. I know you can catch these guys on crankbait, but I'm going to try float fishing first just because that's my preferred way of going after these guys. With my Brutus 10 foot by 10 inch and my Espera double punch 6500, floral point 018 line, pear shaped float number 6 hook, 22 inch lead. And we are using shiners. All right, guys, let's head on in and see what happens here. All right. For some reason, it was trying to get me back to upside down again. I don't know what the, what the deal is. There's a few little things that's still, still irritating me. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but I have... Eh, it looks like we don't have us a private room here. Nothing personal, guys, but I really need to record, and you guys are right where I'm fishing. Anyway, one thing I need to do real quick here. I can turn the sound up now. I had a real issues with my audio for many, many, many ages. But that isn't a problem anymore. Now, the microphone that I have been using was an awesome microphone and it served me well quite well for quite some time but unfortunately it was starting to have some issues I guess it was getting old I've moved it around too many times I don't know but it was given to me by just Jeremy and just Jeremy was another is another youtuber and he was nice enough to give it to me when I didn't have one available to me I much appreciate that but I now have a new headset microphone and this has noise cancellation and it is just awesome awesome sounding alright let's go ahead and get in here now we're gonna come all the way over here and my understanding is the best place to fish for these guys is right in this area here. Probably about 80 to 8 to 90 feet, something like that. So it's going to take me a minute to get the exact distance here set up. I might not cast far enough or I might cast too far. No, that's pretty good actually. Let's bring it in a little bit. And it looks good to me. Let's just sit and wait and see what happens, guys. Hopefully, we'll have some interested parties. Alright, guys, I'm getting a bite. Took a little while. But this isn't really the peak time anyway, so... Uh, 
I'm going to see if he does something again here. Come on. I quit on me. The little bugger quit on me. Yeah, it might change once we get past seven or six even. All right, guys. I th there we go. Finally. Boy, these guys are finicky. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. We got a big one. We got us a hefter. We got us a hefter. Come on. Come on. We want to see you. We want to see what you look like. Come on, big fella. Come on, big fella. There he is. Nice alligator gar. 41 pounds. Still not a trophy, but I am happy with that. Oh, unfortunately, I ran out of my last crawfish, but they do go for shiners. And the same old technique I used to use before still works, guys. What you do is you cast out a little past where you're wanting to fish them. Well, that's... I need to cast it out a little further than that. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I want to kiss, cast it out about 120 feet to start off with. Maybe a little more, but not less than that. Right in this general area. That's probably way over. No, that's good. That's good. Now what you do is you pull up, you hit your right button, and just kind of test to see if anything's there. Sit for a minute. Reel in a little. Do it again. All the while keeping a watch on the left to see if anything turns blue. Now that might go for it while you're doing that, but... If you're trying to locate them, it seems to be a lot easier to do this. That's exactly what I did just this last time. And it's what I used to do when it, they were in Missouri as well. Now, most likely nothing's going to happen until it gets closer to 90. But I knew they would go for the crawfish. For sure, for sure. Okay, now we're getting closer to that sweet spot. Okay, I thought I saw a hint of blue. Yep, I found them. Now just wait. Now he may go for it and he may not, but at least I know there's something there. Come on. Shoot. Yeah, he quit on me. He's still there though. Ugh, come on, you little bugger. Well, he's not a little bugger. <laughs> he's still there. He's just being real finicky. There we go. Now we're getting more of a... Come on, man. Take it. Take it. You know you want to. Take it. He's there. There he goes. There he goes. I got him. 
I got him. I got his finny little ass. <laughs> All right, I. Ooh, he's big. He is a biggie. I'm a little afraid to put my tension up too much more. So we're just going to have to fight him to get him in. Come on. Come on, big guy. Come on, big guy. There you go. Well, he wasn't as big as the last one. But I will take him. I will take him. For sure. Uh, I need to start casting a little farther. Well, maybe not. I saw a flash of blue. Yeah, if things go right. Whoa, that was quick. He was hungry. He was hungry. He was a hungry camper. Let's see here, guys. We got us a... I think we got us just a regular one. Well, maybe not. He's fighting pretty good. Come on, big guy. Nah, he's a little smaller, but still, nice cash. Yeah, once I found him, this was this was just easy money, guys. Easy money. Once you get the right times. Okay, I cast a little far, so what we do is what I showed you before. Wait until you see a flash of blue and then just see if you can entice them. Alright, I saw a flash of blue that time. And we are getting into the peak time, so they are going to really start biting now. Hmm. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. I almost didn't. Okay, he's he's gonna fight. These guys fight. I love it. You have got you a fight on your hands every time. They do not get boring. Okay, this one's gonna take some doing. He's either a very large common one or he is a trophy. What do we got here, guys? Now he's a good size common. 984. God, these are these guys are fun. And the funny thing is, guys, we are just now getting into the hottest time. So, once 7 o'clock gets here, they're going to really start biting. Ooh. Okay, that flashed blue without me doing anything. There it goes. Come on. Yeah, sometimes you don't know if you've got a big one or not because it'll start swimming toward you. It isn't until it starts to, to fight you that it starts becoming obvious that you've got a big fish. I don't think he's that big. Yeah, see, he's a little bit smaller. <laughs> like 26 pounds is smaller. Come on.
There he goes, finally. Took him long enough. All right, come on, fish. Ooh, he is big. We're gonna have to fight this one in a little bit. I don't know if he's a trophy, but okay, now he's swimming towards me. Yeah, he's not coming in easily. Whew, good size one. Still not a trophy, but still, still good size. All right, guys, I still haven't got the trophy, but I'm gonna try on the following day in the morning see what that looks like hold on let me check the map here real quick <sighs> not sure where they stopped biting but maybe just because this same problem I've been having I mean this says sunny and when you go to the map it says partly cloudy and it seems like anytime that happens things don't work right hoping See, in the morning it should be cloudy and there should be a peak early on. So we'll try it then and see what happens. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just for to goof around. No, not that. I'm going to try this lure that I caught the biggest one I've caught just cast it out in the same area and just see if anything goes for it maybe they won't it's hard to say I used to catch them off of this one when I was used to fish in Missouri. This was the best one because it went right on the surface. I don't know that that's going to hold true anymore, but I thought I'd give it a try anyway. It's not like I haven't been successful. I've caught quite a few. I'll be son of a gun. <laughs> I caught something. It's probably a bass. Let's see what we got here. Ah, white bass. Try it again. Nice. Looks like I found a pool or school or whatever. I think it might be another white bass. Yep. New personal record. That's the biggest white bass I've ever caught. Trophy white bass. I wonder if they come in unique sizes. <laughs> Hard to say. Probably not. I don't think they do.
Damn. These guys are just ravenous. Another trophy and another personal record. Now this was just an accident guys. I totally was just messing around experimenting and I happened upon a trophy white bass hotspot. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, I think we're about done, guys. I think we're about done. They have completely quit biting. And there goes the sun. Well guys, it looks like cloudy days bring rainy mornings. Let's get over here and get to our little fishing spot right here on the point. We'll see if these guys are still hanging around. Or maybe if they're hanging around at all. To be perfectly honest, I don't know if these things bite on cloudy days. peak will come right after the storm so thought I'd just give it a little shot I mean I really don't if I don't catch anything I'll try the white bass again I'll be damned they're here early in the morning. Cloudy and rainy. Go figure that out. And this one's this one's big. This one's giving me a bit of a fight. Come on. Come on over here. Come on, big fella. All right, guys. Start at five in the morning on the, during the rain. It doesn't. Seems like they're doing. They do really well. Come on. Oh wow, this guy's big. Come on. There we go. We got him. Holy crap! There he is, guys. My new personal record. The biggest fish I have yet to catch in the game, guys. Check him out. Caught on a rainy morning. 514. With crawfish. 80 pounds. That is one big fish. 200... $2,361. Oh, man. That is awesome. She whiz. Right out here. That's where I cast it. I didn't expect to catch him on a rainy day, though. That's... That threw me. I've been trying to catch a trophy for quite some time. Even back in Missouri, I kept they kept eluding me. Yeah, I think the trick, too, is to kind of reel it in to 
between about 120 and about... Okay, something is already biting on it again. Too bad they, <clears throat> excuse me, too bad they don't come in unique size. <laughs> I guess they'd be like, what, 120 gram pounds or something? At least. I'm getting a bite. There he goes. don't think this is a trophy, but this is still a yet another alligator gar. Come on, big guy. Alright, this one's may be a trophy. I don't know. If I get two trophies in a row, that's going to be amazing. No? Just a very big, regular size one. We'll keep him. I should say I reached level 35. Looks like I got some more floral line available to me. Let's try her again. Oh, I'm just tickled to have caught that trophy. Okay, we're getting a little bit of blue flash, so let's just wait. Let's just let it sit for a while. Seems to be 106. 106, 107 ish. There he goes. Oh, I think we got us a little fella this time. Well, maybe not. I thought we did. Guess he was just swimming towards me. Oh, this is awesome, guys. This is so fun. <laughs> this is so damn much fun. Come on, little guy. Oh, he is gonna run. You're gonna run. You think you're gonna run? Seriously? Yeah, he thinks he's gonna run. Okay, this is probably a trophy, guys. He is... Holy crap! Okay, 
finally he's getting tired. Whoa. He isn't a trophy, but my god, he fought. He's damn near one, though. Almost 40 pounds. What's that, a trophy and two large ones and just... Whoops. That's a little shy. In just under an hour. And my net's almost half filled. I'd say that's pretty good. I think I'm just going to stay right there. Got one crawfish left. Good God, I am getting a bite. Oh! Well, they got the better of me that time, guys. Yeah, I think we should call this an episode. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to take a look at what I've caught. Let's see here. Let's check the fish keeper. Yeah, there's three of them. 80.715 pounds. That's amazing. Absolutely incredible. Yep, that was my record. Up until then, a flathead 32. No way, Matt. Well, that's not my record. That's, I had 80 pounds. That's that's up until now. I haven't actually put it in. Holy crap! I didn't realize they came that big. They can come as big as 108 pounds. I'm not even in the running. Huh. <laughs> Yep, I'm not even in the running, guys. Oh, well. Still, I think that was an extremely good fishing event there. Had one heck of a good time. Caught quite a few fish. Anyway, guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. I think I'm going to go over and start fishing for flatheads and see how they do while... There's still a little rain going on. Anyway, until I see you next time, bye-bye.